everybody? It's Friday. Leaving for Gunnersville tomorrow. First FLW Tour event of the year. Very excited. Uh, never been out there, but you got a chance to catch a great big one out there, which is what I like to hear. Finally got the boat in, all rigged up. Got my power poles on, everything. Everything ready to go. Thought I would give y'all a quick kind of rundown how I like to set up a boat. Everybody sets theirs up different, but it'd give you an idea kind of how I like to organize my tackle throughout a boat. It's been kind of a rush, but I think we finally got it down. So we'll start um, over here. Obviously, rod locker, kind of the, all the business end of stuff. Um, I carry, you can fit 10 rods in here. I'm running a Ranger 521 this year. You can fit 10 rods, mainly um, all my shorter rods. Got a few spinning rods down there. We'll hope that I don't have to pull those out out at Gunnersville. Um, don't look at those super secret red crankbaits. Nobody knows about those on Gunnersville. That's the secret stuff. Um, center rod box, more rods. These are all, I got some flipping sticks, um, bigger trap rods, spinner baits, things like that. Got some crankbaits, stuff over there, kind of running down spinner baits, just general stuff, some traps. I like to keep this um, as light as possible. This is a big boat. So the lighter I can keep, I try to keep all my like big plastics and all my tungsten and all that. I like to run at the, at the back. Day box, this is awesome on these boats. I love this. I don't really use it as a day box, but um just nice little stuff in there obviously got my call this is a new call system this year i've never used this um if any of you guys have used this calling system comment and let me know what you think about it like i said this is my first year i had the ardent before um and it finally broke on me at champlain last year um so i'm trying that i don't know that i really like the velcro on it but i don't really want to drill holes I've been drilling holes in this boat for like four days. I really don't want to drill any, what's, what's a few more, I guess, but we're gonna try out the Velcro. This box is kinda in shambles, to be honest with you. Um, but it's got a little bit of everything. I got some hooks, so I got some exo sticks back there, some other plastics, just kind of a general box. Colon beam back there in the back, uh, fish weights, and then, then drop shot stuff. I don't drop shot a lot, that's all I need. this up here nothing really exciting life jackets always important rain suit oh i do always carry this is something everybody i don't care what level you're fishing this is something everybody should carry a toolbox i mean it's pretty Ooh, that ain't good um it's pretty generic but it's like some pliers some extra wire in case you need to wire something up uh, electrical tape flashlight crescent wrench i mean Pretty general stuff then you just got like i said uh basic pretty basic stuff moving back got kind of a little another ice chest is what they call it but i use it a couple crankbaits buoy got a little cup with some uh markers in case i need to mark some stuff up nothing big there running uh the hds threes 12s this year don't have anything exciting in here yet just uh insurance stuff power pole blah Nothing too important in there. And then we got more plastics, more biospawn stuff. I like to make my own skirts actually. So I carry jig heads separately and then I have stuff to make all kinds of different skirts on the water. Uh, I'm started, something I started doing several years ago. Works really well for me. And then back here, as like I said, it's all my weights and everything. And then I have uh, spare transducers spare uh, trolling motor thing i run that um bob's machine shop it's called a big d for the trolling motor handle so i doubt i'll ever need another a spare trolling handle prop wrench gotta have it and if you've ever actually changed a prop you know it's helpful to have a piece of wood with you to hold the prop so you don't slip and and cut yourself oh, that's kind of back there uh nothing exciting there just batteries other side i got one more life jacket and some more plastic a few little crankbaits the awesome evan g2 this is my first year running that g2 um man that thing has blown me away i haven't even really got to open it up yet but that thing right there is awesome power poles everything went together good really excited about this boat i think this is honestly my best setup so far we'll see i'm ready to get out to gunners and try it out 
Hopefully, I'll be able to keep y'all up to date. I'll probably have to pre-record some stuff for next week, some Tackle Tuesdays and whatnot. But I'm going to do my best to stay on the schedule. Appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully, Gunnersville is good and I win a lot of money. Come back and tell y'all all about it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all next week. Thanks, guys.